I love you too. Aww. Hi there, everyone. Hi. Wow, what a complete and utter surprise to find you all here. It's almost like this was carefully scheduled in the Disney Parks app or something. Wait a minute. Are you all here for story time? Yeah! Yeah, you guys like stories? Yeah! What are some of your favorite stories? Go ahead, name some. Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Oh, wow, I just heard a very young child say Lord of the Flies. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting choice. That must be some sort of Ant-Man spinoff or something. Well, those are all all right suggestions, but we're not going to do any of those because this is my show. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Today I've got a tale full of action, romance, Aww. and guaranteed to be in strong award consideration at the end of the calendar year. It's Beauty Pool. <laughs> and the Wolver Beast. Ooh. Oh, he's scared. No, I saw you flinch, sir. You did. All right, let's get started, shall we? Well, that doesn't work. <laughs> All right, let's find the opening words. Look at these adorable pictures, by the way. How cute is Dog Pool? Ah, oh, Dog right? Pool! Oh, thank you so much. Yes. I scribbled these myself. Mary right. Poppins! Once upon a time. You know what? It just feels wrong when I'm doing it with myself. Why don't we all say it together, shall we? One, two, three. Once upon a time. See, wasn't that so much more fun and interactive when we're all in this together? Yes. For those of you that didn't participate, get your head in the cane! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, upon that time, once, I was walking along, captivated by one of my favorite books, People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive of 2010. <laughs> when all of a sudden, I heard the galloping of my father's horse, Philippe. Come on, children, gallop with me now. Okay, yeah, Philippe was clearly under the weather today. That's all right. You see, my father had left home earlier in the day to travel to the fair. But now, Philippe was coming back alone. My father no longer in the saddle. Oh, Philippe! I said, where's Papa? Is he in some kind of trouble? I asked him this like he was some sort of television horse that could understand English and respond in kind. But this is a story grounded in realism. And Philippe is a real horse, so he winning. I'm not fully brushed up on my winning, so I just leapt onto his back and guided him to take me to Papa quickly. And off we galloped. Oh, we galloped deep, deep within the forest. Oh, we were so deep in that forest. It grew very dark, very scary, very dangerous. Kind of like going to an in and out drive through at 1 a.m. <laughs> Suddenly, we came to a clearing where we saw an enchanted mansion rising out of the mist. It was Professor Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. I dismounted Philly and sent him on his way, for I knew who lived here. It was the hairy, the hideous, oh, did I mention hairy? <laughs> yes! Wolvie, I can't believe you made it. Quickly, let's take an awesome, cute picture together for the gram. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Come on, we gotta go. There's no time for stories. Come wait, on. wait, Wolvie, please don't leave. You have to help me finish the story. We were just getting to the good part. Look, if you don't want to do it for me, if you don't want to do it for the gram, Aww. at the very least, do it for the children, Wilby. Come on, kids, show Wilby your saddest pouting faces until he agrees. Aww. All right, all right, I see him, I see him. They look devastating. Shut up. I'm doing this for you, kid. Oh, yeah. you're, a, you're a hero, child. That's very convincing, by the way. You look like you were in legitimate, absolute despair. You should be in Hollywood, really. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Too far. Okay. God. Uh, uh, so, um, well. It's actually Beauty Pool. That's me. I'm not saying Beauty Pool. Come on, kid. Show him the face of absolute despair again. No, do I have to? Okay. Oh, that's very convincing. Wow. Beauty Pool does a little B and E and meets a bunch of weirdos who are furniture and dishes. Okay, well, don't forget about the cutlery and the napkins. I mean, there's a whole dance number and everything. And the real hero shows up. The Beast. 
Uh, it's Wolver Beast. That's you. Come on, you have to keep within the rules of parody here. Right? Anyway, Pooh Boy over here makes a mess of things as usual. Then it's up to Wolverine to save the day. Uh, blah blah blah. I slice up some bad guys oh. while Beauty Queen over here stands in the corner making a bunch of stupid jokes with outdated cultural references. Oh, how dare you! My cultural references are timeless and ever enduring, like Splash Mountain. <laughs> Happened to Splash Mountain. For the record, I love frogs. You know what? This whole thing is really headed south. You didn't mention anything about Mrs. Potts, her adorable, charming sonship, Lumiere, or even Chef Bouche. There's a deep cut for all you magic key holders out there. It's the stove. You're welcome. Not even a few bars of tale as old as time. I said no musical theater. Really? Didn't you host the Tonys like four times? I don't know what that is. Okay, that's fair. I've uh, clearly touched a nerve, children. Maybe it's time to wrap things up. The moral of that story is pretty obvious, actually. It's don't open your door to strangers. Because they might just be a creepy witch who will enchant you, your entire house, and everyone and everything in it just for not letting them in. It's actually kind of a weird story now that I think of it. We tell this to children? You do. Okay, that's fair. Well, I guess we better be off then, but Wolvie, I'll let you do the honors and say the magic special words. What words? You know, how all good Disney stories end. Nobody say a post credit scene, all right? That is so overdone, and only in the Feige Cinematic Universe, the FCU, as I like to call it. <laughs> I'm still workshopping that acronym. I feel like there's just one too many letters. I'm out of here. Oh, what's wrong, Wolvie? Too much fourth wall for you? He's much more of a third wall kind of guy. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Well, anyway, I guess I should be off too, but I just want to say for the record, they all lived happily ever after. Thank you for saying that with me. I didn't have to ask. <laughs> Direct-to-video release. I mean, it's pennies on the dollar at that point. Has anyone even seen Once Upon a Deadpool? I have a Christmas special. Are you guys like me off? We're getting ready for award season. Okay, bye.